Alright guys, welcome to Croplands 3 Deadly Dream by Xero Thomas. If I said that right, no clue. There's a bed. So after, pla after placing the final wool on the altar, you run back to the airship and watch how Every floating shard returns to the world. You fall into a well-deserved slumber, but wake up in a place you didn't go to sleep in. I... I am quite excited for this map. Yeah. Favorite, favorite CTM series out of them all. And this map came out on my birthday, which is today, February 17th. And even though it's a coincidence, I really like that coincidence. Uh, it rocks. There's a lot, it's been a lot of coincidences today, including my map divided together, my race for wool number three. That was selected for the Reddit Minecraft tur tournament, the race for wool tournament. And it's part of the map pool with eight other maps. And I'm excited for that too. And that happened today as well. And then today my friend is moving and he gave me his pet turtle. Which is behind me on my jester. So weird coincidences all today. So uh, I can only sleep at night. I'll take a bed and look. what I'm already level 1. You didn't see anything. But I'm already level 1. That's odd. Everything's lit up. I hate skeletons. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. It's funny. But, uh, yeah. So we could break all these down. I won't break down the monuments because that's unneeded, I think. Um, uh, I mean, not, not the monuments, the rules, the rules, the glowstone behind it. I'll leave that there just for effect. Oh, you're finally awake. Where are you, you ask? You have been trapped in your own subconsciousness by my loyal servant, Somnium. Insomnia, Somnium. <laughs> There is no way to get out of here. You cannot wake up in the real world after all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more important pressing matters to attend to. Ex Exeos. Exeos. He's told me so many times, given, given me uh, different ways to try to pronounce it correctly, and I'm still messing it up. What's all these? Provision starting chest. Okay, we have trees and wood off right off the bat. That's really good. This is a open world map and it's ranked hard, I believe. So you are currently in the sanctuary of dreams. There are other areas in, in the map which you can explore in any order you like. Good luck and have fun. Provision starting chest. Good. <laughs> no meat. He gave he gave bread. And I have thirty four torches already, that's cool. Don't need that. Oh, I'm already starving, that's not good. Oh there's mushrooms right there. Whoa. That looks crazy, the walls. This goes up and down and area, tiny big world. Hello. He's gone. I actually had a dream like this. Hey. Hey. I'm reading signs here.
Come on. Dang it. Fixed. Sort of. So this just goes up and down and all around. There's wood on nearly every one. But I haven't seen stone yet. So netherrack there. Area, the brain of confusion. Oh, <laughs> that's interesting. It's right there. This is completely unexpected, to be honest. So, I'm liking this. Ooh, stone. Cool. And some nether brick roads or something. It'd be cool to find the monument and get a base going. Ooh. Oh, that's a starting area. Alright. So we have a house to explore. And what else? What else? No, you are not blowing up. Good. You just fell off. Oh, we're above the netherrack thing. Could probably bridge to it, but eh. There's n nothing more than a viewing point. I really like how this map turned out, and I hope you have a lot of fun playing it. Now go die in a fire some more. I hope I have fun. I hope I don't die in a fire. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited for this map. Bedrock ceiling. The glowstone walls look really interesting. Okay, but those f that beginning forest looks like it's partially lit, and my hunger is already going down rapidly. Unlike the first map, hunger has been come out already, so let's see how it happens. And I don't see anything other than giant red... Oh, there's a brown one right there. So I can work my way over there for food. Um, death counters. I'm not sure I'm going to be doing it. So, area haunted woods. Has it ever occurred to you? I hate skeletons. I hate them. <laughs> Has it ever occurred to you that in most forest and video games, that most forest and video games are very ominous, mysterious, or magical? It's so stereotypical. That's why I use it as well. Smiley face. Nice. Now, I don't know if these are all trapped, but I I hope not. Hmm. Well, that looks weird. Whoa, candy canes. Don't turn my back on what I'm doing. That's bad. Okay, so what do I want? This, and that's it. Oh, he saw me. I guess I could go on zombie flesh. No! No! Oh man, I am playing on hard. Oh! No! No! Ah, already dead. Already. Okay, skellies. You get to fall off. You don't have that new AI yet. Are you gone? Good. And look, a nice little neat pile. Q. 
Good, good. Let's get this. Can't believe I already died. Look at that! Found my inventory perfectly, just how I died in. Enderman, you're griefing already? Ah. Oh no, just run, just run into here. Hopefully this isn't a dungeon. Okay, it is a dungeon, but there's provisions leather times 120. Thirteen isn't that creepy, is it? I don't remember it being that creepy. Oh! Wait. KTCE. Kitchen. Kitchen! You know what's in kitchens? I won't be able to sleep here. But food is in kitchens. Yes! Perfect! Zombie! Go around the door! Thank you! Oh, there's spawners in here. And strings around, I noticed that for... Ew. This is handy. Oh, there's so many mobs around. I will never need zombie meat. I'll leave the skelly one. And book a hole outside so they don't spawn outside. Ooh, yes! Haha! -ha. Success! Success! Lots of it! Ooh! Not ready to go out yet. So many mobs around. I think they're above me. Enchanting room. But I want some armor on me. Even leather armor is so much better than nothing. There we go. This could be a trap if there are spawners in there. Spider going up the window. This creepy music still on. It is. All right. Reasonable safeness. Here we go. Get more torches easily. Ooh, brewing. Ooh. I like this. There's a lot, a lot of goodies so far. We'll enchant these. Sweet. Alright, so... Let's, uh, cool. Wooden pick does work. That's, that's awesome. Bedroom. Study. That's a lot of skellies.
supposed to fall? Oh, there's the stairs. Okay. This is not go quite how I wanted to. Why can't that skelly shoot at all? Is that skelly out there yet? Why are there so many zombies in there? Just die already. It's probably needed. Okay. Jeez. Ah, stop. Stay in your little cobweb. Nope. Nope. No. Gonna start dying of food soon. Oh, there's already glistone out there. How nice. But let's eat. Aha, there's something else here. <laughs> okay, you could just die like that. But this, there seems to be nothing else in this house. But I need a good place to make a base, definitely. It'd be cool to find the monument. It's always a good place to start. Oh, I didn't finish. Ha Hmm Mystery I really sh ooh Yeah One wool already That's right <laughs> Wasn't quite done at this house, but now I am. Um, what's next? Why there's still so many mobs? Hey, hello. Wait, there's a sign right there. Can't read it. It's too blurred out. Ah, oh, so many mobs right outside. <laughs> uh, I might have chopped myself in here. Maybe I could read it from upstairs. What? Where's he shooting from? Down below. Okay. Fortunately, they take a lot of fall damage. Still can't see that sign, though. Alright, so this place 
it's covered in darkness, so I'll never get daytime on, on my side. Wish those mobs would go away. Okay, there are graves. Oh. I know what I can do. Not here. Actually. Nope. Hmm. I really need to get that stone. So first we'll do this. Store this and let's go for hunting for some stone. Let's get some more chests though. Anything in here worth no. Close it off forever. No, I wanted a chest. Hey, how did you get in? There's an opening between the windows. Alright, so I want to go get some stone. Do I have the two chests? Yes, I do. So we do that. We do not need to take the leather on our journey. Nor this, nor this. No, all of this. Um, this would be trash like this. Well, stuff we can use just right maybe a long time from now. Um, let's get a few more of these. Like that. So the rest of the coal away here. And just go. The bones would be definitely be useful. Now how are you going to escape here? That's the question. Just jump it. No, I cannot jump that far. There's so many mobs. This should help slightly. Oof. I don't think I could go out that way. Oh, cool, they're behind there. I should have made a sword. I should have made a sword. Just run. It's too late now. You see massive ender griefing already. All right. Mountains. Random blue to black transition. What does that mean? Areas. Minds of arachnophobia. Everybody has their own fears. I'm slightly arachnophobic, which means I have a slight fear of bugs. It's spiders, not bugs in general. If you don't have that, this area will give it to you. So what I assume it means. This seems all safe to mine. And I could use it. This area looks crazy. Aha! Chest up there. What? 
Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Oh, I, I see what's going on. Stay down there, Creeper. Okay. Very nervous. Ah, cobblestone 128. Perfect. No more need to mess up the mines. There's another snow block over there. I would like to get to. And we could bridge to it. Over that one creeper that's still staring at the wall. If you heard that, I'm sorry if you haven't. That's good. Because... Stop! Something's going on. They're calling me, but I can't. I'm playing this. Redstone times 128. Why would I need redstone? Potion lengtheners, I guess. Yes, I, I could have just run around here. But shh. <laughs> cool stuff. But the mines, I'm thinking might have some iron. Hopefully you could get a bucket going. There's water in like the fountains. But and water right there. But if it wasn't for spawn and the number of torches I have, which is extremely low, and I should get more wood, I would take on these mines right now. Whoa, these are very open. I'm just going in. Get a look at it. Okay. Just plain spiders so far. Stop, Cole. I don't have any wood. Do I? Right next to me. Stop. Bugging me. Where is the other? What? Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. I have armor on. So that spiders remain trapped while I slowly but surely get some torches going on. I'm assuming this, yeah, that's silverfish. Okay, all I see is, oh, activate another spawner. The sword's almost out already. Do I even need a base? That's a good question. Yeah, I'll need a base for a sustainable food source. Uh 
Ha, I saw you spawn. Stop pinging me. That's what they're doing. They're pinging me. Blade of the Blood Slayer. Tarantulan. What is it? No! Tarantulan. Is there something bugging you? <laughs> oh yeah. We are moving up in equipment. Don't have to worry about getting a workbench for a stone sword when we have an epic sword. Meant for taking down these weaklings. As I said before, spiders are the least scary enemies. Cave spiders are one of the worst. But, <laughs> but normal spiders are not. Sixteen more torches. Two hits. Bane of Arthropods, three. And looting, one. So, free food, spider eyes. So far, oh, oh. Maybe I should look up. That might just come in handy, just a little bit. Okay, these are one hit sometimes. Okay. Oh my goodness. Still no cave spiders. Are they going to try to climb up this thing? They are. There's definitely a spawner above me. Um, that I'm just a little close to death. I probably could have used spider eyes there. I have eight already. But, uh, it's even more regen. Where are these spiders coming from? I need to go find it. Where are they coming from? Dang it, stop wasting arrows. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Perfect.
That's how he's persistent, wasn't he? Magenta wool. Ooh, there's a little workstation down there. Ooh, a chest. I'm excited. I guess I need a proper staircase down, don't I? Oh well, I won't hide it in a wall. So that's boring. But... Well, I guess we'll get this chest along the way. What does it say? Potions medium. Regen. I like I like regen potions. Uh, so many interruptions. But moving on. Moving on. It's a lot of spiders. I just need to get by a wall and then they'll all kill themselves slowly by climbing up and taking fall damage. I just had to look in that chest real fast. I need torches badly. to find out what these spiders are coming from and stop them. I know where they're coming from. Everywhere. No. Oh my goodness. This is an intense dungeon. Stop. I'm kind of quiet this whole series. I'm sorry about that. I'm just excited to playing a map. And I'm not entirely concentrating. Okay, so what we have so far white wool in the wood area, magenta, magenta wool in this coal area with coal, spiders. And iron down the mines. We found it. There's iron down here. We had to mine a lot of way. Oh, 
but we finally made did it. Now we oh blank spiders are invading our house. Help! Lots of good stuff. Zombie approaching. Let's get rid of this bad stuff. We have one arrow. All right. Let's light it up. And getting iron will be great. So let's harvest this guy's house. It's apparently spiders ripped down somehow. <laughs> yes. I'm now well stocked. Anti-poison. You love baby spiders, right? Buckets. You gave buckets. Just to make that clear. These are buckets. Iron right off the bat. More spread out than last time. I mean... Whoa! I hear ghast. A ghast? A ghast. Now, if I was stunned before, now I'm especially stunned. There, there's only been ghast spawners in one room of his maps before. And that was a large nether brick room in Swamp of Sorrow. But apparently they're here too. Where are they though? Ooh, baby spider spawner. First time I did that, I did that. Where were you? Stop. This is a more effective poison healer. Regen potion. Ooh, fancy. Bucket of lava. Blazes. They're gonna spawn. I have to power through the spawners though. Only one spawned. That's odd. And I guess since all this iron's here, all those buckets don't matter. Oh! Haha, <laughs> he did, he did put some of his blocks everywhere. I guess he didn't like my tunneling. <laughs> or tunneling in general. What do we not need? But we have... Whoa, hello. He just broke my hat. How dare you. Pool of lava is a nice gift, though. Alright. I think that's good for the first episode. I wanted a longer one. Just because... First episodes get the most views, I noticed. And I just wanted people to see this map for themselves. Um... I like this series, and I hope that you check it out yourselves. That's um, I gave gave you a bit of a tour, blind tour, but still enough to get the bucket 
the awesome bucket and iron iron resources all around in case you do look look for a LPs before downloading a map you have it one now and yes and now and I also wanted a long one because it's my birthday special part two part one was the release of the ultimate maze collection version 1.2 and that had four new mazes, which I'm quite excited about. Quite happy, happy how they turned out. And from here until episode two, I will get some iron going. Um, I'll need a workbench though, and a stone sword to cut out this cobble. So a lot of spiders somewhere. Cause so I don't this iron this oh mistake mistake. All right, mistake averted. And it's still in all weird and how this gas spawned. It sounds like he flew away, so it must have been outside. There's more cave. Um, dang it. That's what I wanted. Let's burn these cobwebs. Alright, it's a special secret chest. Combat supplies level 1. Dang it. Oh well. Come on, bow and arrows. Yes! We are stocked. We are ready to take on this whole map now. And I'm excited to take on this map. It looks really cool from just what I've seen so far. Nice spiral in the center with all the areas not lined up by the uh, four crossing the X, uh, whatever they're called, roads. But rather something a little different, a spiral path. And that's really cool. And I'm excited to keep playing this. Lighting up areas like you should in CTM maps. The power is a blocking with the sword. Ooh. Now oh, there's blazes. Where are the blazes? All right, time to seriously end it now. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you check out this map for yourselves. This is Dungaunt. See ya.